Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel, I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and whatnot on the internet with you guys. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Leave a like and a comment for the algorithm. It helps out a lot. Let's hop right into it. Today we got how laws are made in Germany. I don't know hardly anything about laws and politics and anything in Germany, so this is going to be good. Let's find out what we got Germany going on here. Germany is a country of laws. Some of them are pretty strange. For example, you Ooh. can't let soap suds get into the groundwater, so it's essentially illegal to wash your own car. Some of them... Um, that's interesting. I think I can confidently say that Germany is definitely very law and order centric. Everything has a code and rules and regulations and that's like a German stereotype, but it's also true. Like Germany really likes their order and their rules and you know, it's just what it is. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it is what it is. So let's see how you make some laws. They're pretty unique. For example, on some autobahns, it's legal to drive your car as fast as you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Given the relevance of Not Germany of them, in though. modern geopolitics, it's important for everyone to understand how German laws are made. Yes, I need to know. So let's take a completely fictitious example, like uh, Bielefeld, Germany. Okay. And let's take our buddy Sven, and say this happened before you could Hi, drive like Sven. a nut on the Autobahn. And Sven says, look, I work hard, I pay my taxes, I have this really cool German car, I want to be able to drive as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. Sven's best place to start would be to convince the federal government, meaning the chancellor or federal ministries. Wow, straight this is where to federal two -thirds government of laws originate. So Sven would hope to get somebody there, you know, probably okay. the minister of transportation in this case, to propose the bill. Once right. a bill has been proposed, so it's far. typically sent to the Bundesrat, a council that represents the 16 state governments. Okay, I do remember this. They can't this. really vote on the bill or change it at this point, but they can offer an opinion. I think Sven should be able to drive as fast as he wants. <laughs> Next, the bill goes to okay. the Bundestag, the federal parliament, where it's debated and committees are designated to review the bill and make amendments. At a second reading at the Bundestag, the bill is read and debated again. Okay, if no amendments two readings are suggested, so far. Members can proceed to a third reading and vote on it right then and there. Oh! If not, it will require further debate before a third reading. In keep either debating, case, keep debating, it requires keep debating. a majority of the Bundestag to move forward. Sometimes that's okay. just over 50%, sometimes it's two-thirds. The threshold depends on the situation. In this case, oh. the bill... The threshold depends on the situation. That is kind of confusing to me because sometimes it's two-thirds, sometimes it's more than half. So how do you decide which is a two-thirds policy and which is a half policy? That's kind of confusing to me, but I'm sure they have very well documented and detailed rules for what is what. If I know anything about Germany, it's that they got that part documented. All right, let's continue. Now called an act is kicked back to the Bundesrat. And mm -hmm. if they approve, and the majority necessary depends on the kind of bill in question, it goes back to the federal government to be finalized. That's a lot of passing it around and stuff, though. I mean, I guess it's good to debate it all through the different levels of the government, but that's a lot of passing if around, If the Bundesrat like. has problems with the bill, then they create a mediation committee with Bundesrat and Bundestag members to try to iron it out. Ooh. Once the act is approved, it goes back to the federal government, where it is signed by the appropriate minister and chancellor. Next, it goes to the president, who can veto the law. Okay. I don't want Sven driving a million miles per hour in my streets! <laughs> but on, the president very drive. rarely does this. Once the law is signed, it's published in the Federal Law Gazette, and 14 days later, it becomes law. Hmm. So drive on, Sven. <laughs> drive on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, Germany has everything very well planned out as to how to go about these things. But it's interesting to me to see all the different levels of the government and all the different areas of the government that get their hands in on it and debate it and, and pass it around before it's finally decided on. But... That's probably a pretty good thing to have so many people looking over it, making sure that it's best for who they're representing in the country. So all in all, seems like a good idea. But 
interesting either way. At any rate, be sure to subscribe, check some other videos out on the channel, leave a like and a comment down below for the algorithm, it helps out a lot. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.